Okay, guys. What is up? Welcome to 60 Seconds Reatomized. Um. Whoa. Okay. What up? What up? Who are you? Can you do anything? Okay, y'all. That looks sketchy. He looks scary. I don't even know what that is. You're gonna die. Um, nonetheless, this is 60 Seconds Reatomized. Apparently, it's a game about the apocalypse and how things go along. And how you're supposed to survive this apocalypse. So, let's see here. The tutorial, 100% approved by the establishment. Cool, don't need you. Challenge, protect your post, perfect your post-apocalyptic skills and unlock fancy reward, uh, rewards in these special challenging adventures. Most achievements are disabled. Okay, scavenge. Scavenge applies from your house and make sure the fallout shelter is well stocked by the end of your run. No survival included. Survival. Experience a one-of-a-kind post-apocalyptic adventure. Survive in your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. Apocalypse. The full experience. The full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Alright. So. We're going with the lures. Okay. Exploration, 20 seconds. Scavenge time, 60 seconds. Stocked shelter, prepper style. Packed suitcases, holiday luggage, health issues are rare, fragile equipment is sturdy, unwanted visitors are few, and trouble is sometimes. Huh. So, what do y'all think? I think we're going to go with... The fat man. I guess it's like normal difficulty. We'll, we'll, we'll see here. Okay. Alright, come on, Dolores. Child, you just need to stop. Tammy, whatever your name is, come on. Let's go. Go in there. Good boy. Need that. Get some soup. Because apparently that's our food. Okay. Come on, you fat lord. Okay, I'm assuming we're going to need bug spray. Need that, need that, need that. Grab that water. Let's go. Okay. I think we're doing good, guys. Thank you. Good. Lord have mercy. Hey, map. Need that. I'm sure a map is gonna come in handy. Uh, 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 uh. Crap, 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 crap. I think that's everything. Oh god. I don't think I got any water. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I got any water. Crap. Oh, no. Guys, oh god, I didn't get any water. I got a bunch of soup, but I didn't get any water. Okay. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. 
We can't remember bringing their supplies down to the shelter. But we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyways. Plus one harmonica. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we are sure this is a good amount of supplies. Time to ration them. Okay, guys. You're gonna get some food for today. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it, or else we might find ourselves in more trouble. Day two. All right, in the comments, in the comments, what day do you think we'll make it to? I'm thinking day 50. Five zero. Come on, who's with me? Who's with me? All right. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Today's been fine for Dolores uh, thus far. Ted said there is no need to worry about him. He's okay. It's impressive how Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best of the situation. He even seems cheerful. Good for you, little Timmy. Good for you. Eat the fly with your open mouth. <clears throat> Time to ration some supplies. Alright, guys. Yeah, let's do some water. Okay. Ted is happy. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe. Unless you don't mind getting sick. I don't have anything. You might be unsafe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. We might end up sleeping in we might end up falling asleep in the face of real in the face of real danger. Like a like saucer men from Mars. Okay. Day three. Ted, sir. Uh. You looking kind of rough there, bub. Ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get out, tried to get at least one or two, an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. There are other problems we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Ted is really tired. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. It's impressive how Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. Good job, guys. Alright. The kids have... The kids have been all fidgety lately. They miss running around and playing games with each other in their rooms even though the shelter is way smaller than their bedrooms. There is some space in front of the table that seems to be perfect for wildly splint sprinting around and playing tag. Should we let them play? 
Yes. Hopefully, one of them doesn't die. Ted. Dang God. As soon as they got permission, Tammy and Mary, Mary Jane immediately started running around laughing, or at least spinning around. There's not much space in this tiny shelter. During their playtime, they noticed a single bottle of water tucked in the corner beside, behind some empty cans. Lucky find. Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Ted has been fine for Dolores thus far. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to crawl her, her path. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Well, good for Timmy. I'm happy for the kid. Alright, everybody's getting fed. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Alright, day five. Wow. Ted, you look awake, buddy. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. She took the lock. Ted has rested. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. There's a there isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall breaks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It is the smell coming from that hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove sorts of the stench? Yes. Day six. Hopefully it wasn't radiation or something to kill me. Hey! What up, dude? We looked in the hole. Fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body, part, body parts. But nothing happens. We instead found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him. So we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper barrel and an empty can. He deserved that much. <laughs> Ted is fine. There's nothing new bothering Mary Jane. <laughs> they gave Remy the rat a proper burial. They are stand-up people. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. I want cake. Time to ration. Nope. We tried to keep track of we tried to keep track of dates, but they just don't add up. Luckily, they remembered his birthday today. We should get him at a present. Or a cake. Or both. So it's settled. We're making a soup cake. But what about a gift? We'll give him the checkers. Day seven. Timmy, did you like your gift? Timmy. Okay. When we're when we were taking care of her in the shelter, we barely had time to grab anything. So the checker set is missing half its pieces. It seems you can still play with the one half. Since Timmy has been enjoying himself. Ted is really thirsty. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. He's a little pale. Alright. 
Let's get on some soup. As we're considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turns out we were visited, visited by a band of survivors. They were in pretty proud shape. All they wanted was something to drink and about to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicines to attend to their wounds. We're gonna give them some soup, cause I got some extra. Hopefully they don't come back and raid. Hey, who's... Somebody needs to eat that. Hey, we didn't have that radio before, did we? I don't think we did. Sweet, did they give us a radio? Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse, only to be nearly strangled by their thankful refugees. Hugs can kill, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue their journey to get somewhere safe. They decided somewhere safe before the sun set. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer and soon left, waving goodbye until they disappeared amongst the rubble. Okay, well, I, I should have grabbed the radio before, but at least we got one. Alright, everybody is no longer thirsty. Cool. If there's one way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our door. Whoever it is, they are crap persistent. They've been at it for five minutes. What should we open? Uh, no. Dolores has a key. Ted, like, dude, your five o'clock shadow is not growing on me. Look more like a beard guy. Timmy, you need to start growing a beard. The banging stopped after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Probably not, because I'm a stingy boy, and I'm never letting anybody in to my shelter. Ted is fine. It's always been better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new has happened with Mary Jane. Despite dire circumstances and all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. Well, good for little Timmy. I'm so happy for him. Day 9. How about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe take a boat ride, even if the whole place is turned into Adamville. Alright, day 10. Day 10. Dolores, are you dead, hun? Like, we can take care of ourselves. There is nothing going on with Timmy. With Ted, nothing new anyways. Mary James sees fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. The other day, we have heard a quiet knock at our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep. There's no, no one around. It isn't signed, but it looks like it was meant for us. Should we check what's inside? <sighs> Guys, I don't know. What if it's some... What if it's that, that, that person or thing that was knocking on our door a, a couple days ago that wouldn't leave until we just ignored him? What if it's him and he went and found some, like radiation rocks or something like let's just stuff it in this suitcase all right i'm going with the s yes, because what if it's water
Hey, somebody's knocking. Hello, and nobody's home. Dang it. We gladly accepted this sudden gift, despite our suspicious suspicions. It turned out it was just a regular tomato soup game. And that's all we know and love. Thank you, kind stranger. We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. Ted is fine. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't who wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter? Timmy might not look not look like it, but he is strong for a young boy. He is doing just fine. Well, Dolores is dead. Alright, Mary Jane. Day 11. Our sorry excuse for a dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside. Say, wanna buy a rock? We calmed down when we realized the voice belonged to, a, belonged to old man Jim, who used to live in our town. Well, at least we think he did. We just never quite figured out where he stayed. We should probably answer his question. It's impolite to keep people waiting like that. No, Jim, I don't want your rock. We were, <laughs> we were ready to consider it, but the old man was really unprofessional. We didn't have the necessary... He didn't have the dis... <laughs> He didn't have the necessary documentation with him. Not even a warranty or a contract for us to sign. Also, we don't have a pen. This transaction is not gonna happen. All right, everybody's thirsty. Well, guess what, y'all? This is all I got. Mary Jane, since you're going out. Ted! Hope you don't die, buddy. I really do. Mary Jane, wish the best of luck. Bring back some water. Alright, men. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. She took the map. Ted looks like he has a foot in the grave if he doesn't get a drink soon. Timmy is no longer thirsty. Sorry, buddy. All I got is food for you. We didn't expect a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone on the other side of the street. Should we go answer it? Yes. Ted, you go. Because if you die, it'll be okay. You're... You're dying anyways, bud. Alright, let's see what that phone call had to say. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of, a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town called Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on the other side. We hope they will get back to us. Ted looked like he has one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Apocalypse or not, we can't ignore our kids' educational needs. Timmy has spent too much time without reading a single thing. We need to get him to read again. Otherwise, he'll grow up to be an... Good God. I just had a brain fart, guys. I don't... He'll be a savage. Just give him that. Like, maybe he can learn from the checkers. No! <laughs> well, Ted? Bud? Good thing we have those checkers. They can an instruction sheet. Perfect reading material for a young boy like Timmy. 
Who would have anticipated that reading those three sentences too many times over would fry his little brain? Poor Timmy. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Timmy is really tired. Well, you see right there, we didn't make it. These are our final words. Our advice for anyone who's read this obscured writing. We had out 15 days. All of us are safe. Sleepless in that bill. Tag your it. Oh, good lord. Well! You see it? Um. Well, guys, we perished. I don't know about you guys, but we perished. For anybody that was betting that it, I would be less than 15 days, good job. But I'm calling this. Uh, um, I'm. I really like this. Um. Ooh. We'll probably play this again. I'll probably, we'll probably play this again and do some more some more of the apocalypse. I think did y'all see that? Hey. I think we'll I really want to keep on playing this. It's really fun. It's the the stories and the commentary is amazing. So I think we're gonna keep on playing this. Um, but I hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, if I don't see, I hope everybody has a very, very merry Christmas and a happy New Year. It is the 16th, so, I mean, it's right around the corner. It's 10 days. Well, 5 days, I think. Math. But, nonetheless, this is the tune. Signing out. Adios, guys.